Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. My most requested video has been how do you make bonsai soil? So today I'm going to run you through the ingredients and how I put it together. I'm going to start off with perlite. I buy this 100 litre bag, you can buy it online and it costs around 25 pounds. If you're not familiar with perlite, it's very very light kind of like polystyrene i'm not exactly sure what it is but it makes soil nice and free draining and it's cheap so i'll just take one plant pot full of the perlite and put it in my tub as you can see it's quite dusty so some people like to wear a dust mask and my second ingredient Horticultural grit. I use this horticultural potting grit from Melcourt. This is a 20 kilo bag, it cost me about five pounds from a local garden center. I've tried several different types of grits and sand, but I find this one, which is fairly fine, holds onto water really well, but it's also very free draining. So I like the perlite. I just add one plant pot full of that. Like that. Next year when I start doing cuttings, I'm going to have a go at using just this mixture of these two. And just as a straight inorganic soil, that'll do quite well. Next up, we've got pine bark. Now, I have bought the proper bonsai pine bark in the past. It's very fine. It's from Scott's Pine Trees only. And it's gorgeous stuff. I really liked it. But again, it's very expensive. And I find this stuff does the job. Can you just come over here, mate, please? Cheers. I'm just on video. No, no. This is an Italia Gower Juniper. This is the pine bark I use. It's again by Melcourt. I picked this up from a local garden centre. They do lots of different varieties of pine chips. I think they do about five or six different types, but the one I like is pine mini chips. This is a 60 litre bag cost me 11 pounds from my local garden center, but it is available online. I didn't need to open that bag of pine bark because I already had an opened one. But as you can see, this stuff, it's, it's quite fine. So it's a lot finer than a standard garden mulch and it works really well, I find, in the bonsai mix. Just like the other two ingredients, all I do is mix one of these in as well. When I mix this stuff in with the grit and the perlite, you've got a nice, airy, very free draining soil. And you could definitely just use that, especially for trees like pines and junipers. Before I mix my final ingredient, this Itoigawa juniper that just arrived in the mail, uh, I'm going to be doing a, an unboxing video of this. So if you want to see, see me present, see what's arrived, and I'll tell you how much it costs and sort of uh, what condition it's in when I get it, then hit subscribe. Apart from that, let's get on with ingredient number four. And that is compost. And this is a bit of a contentious one. I like to use an ericaceous compost. A lot of my plants are maples and other trees that like an acidic soil, and the perlite is slightly alkaline. So I find this uh, contrasts with the alkaline to produce sort of a neutral pH soil. And you can use any kind of compost you want. A lot of people favor the peat free because it's better for the environment, 
I can't find a peat-free ericaceous, but if I could, I would use that. Although my mix so far isn't fully inorganic because it's got the pine bark in it, this is really adding an organic element. And the sort of, the normal theory of bonsai is that you put plants in a completely inorganic soil and you add fertilizer as you want. Um, the, the only thing with me is, nearly all my plants are in development. A lot of them are, what's the word, collected trees and garden centre, nursery stock. And I find that just by including a quarter of my soil of this um, compost, and all, it, it just allows the trees to thrive and means that I'm not sort of having to fertilise them as much. And everything seems to be doing well. And in the future, I might look at this, but for the time being, I'm still happy to add a small amount of compost to my mix. So in goes, one tub of ericaceous compost. You get the odd big lump in it. But I like to break the compost up first. It's fairly dry out of the bag, but I like to break it up so it's quite fine. Chuck any bigger pieces out. And then once I've kind of broken it up, then I can mix it in with the rest of my soil. And I find my trees do really well in this. Oh, it's a big chunk. Well, I'm glad that I was finally able to put a video together answering the question, what soil do I use? Because it's, as I say, it's been asked loads of times. So there it is. For the mathematicians out there, it's a ratio of one to one to one to one, or 25% perlite, 25% agricultural grit, 25% pine bark and 25% ericaceous compost. And I put all my trees in this. When I collect trees, sometimes they've got fairly huge roots and they're in big pots. They require a lot of compost. Uh, and buying these big bags in bulk, I'm able to put them in this and they seem to be doing really well. So if you can't get any of these ingredients, do the best you can, get something close, add some sand or, or whatever you need to. And the main thing, get out there and get mixing your own soil. It's great. So uh, as always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.